three, two, one. Hello, everyone. I'm Dragon Whoop, and welcome back to Terraria. In this episode, we're going to go take what key we have. I, I went into the jungle, and I farmed, and I farmed, and I farmed, and I farmed. I just could not. I don't know. I farmed for like two and a half hours. I could not get the jungle key. But we do have we do have the corruptor key, corruption key. So I'm actually going to go to the corruption chest in the dungeon and uh, see what's inside it. I mean... Why not? And then as I get different keys, or the more keys I get, the more times I'll go down there and, and find the chest. So, here we go. We have the key in hand. There's the cultist. We, we'll take care of those later. But I want to get down here into the dungeon, and I actually want to uh, find this corruption chest. And open it up and get all its goodies out. Now, I don't think I've located the corruption chest, but it's like little boxes. It could be like, this is a gold chest. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I've found it, but I gotta be careful because the creatures are down here and they will eat you. Ooh, I found a magnet sphere. Cool, that's a magic weapon. It's a really powerful spell for anybody who does not know. Oops. There we go. We've got some more ectoplasm. Unfortunately, we're not able to use it. That's uh, the ectoplasm used to make the uh, mage armor. Oh, not you again. Alright, finally killed him. Let's get out of this area of the dungeon. This guy is everywhere. And another thing what I need to do is I need to come in here and try to find the Nazar Owl. Which is dropped from the skeleton guys with the big skeleton skulls. Let's get out of here. Oh, where is my exit? Over here. Okay. Ah! Feel like I'm in an obstacle course. Run, run away. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, get ah. I hate those diabolists. These guys. Diabolists. Yeah. I hate those guys, because every time you hit them, they teleport. Every single time. But, good thing for us, yes, there's another death on the death counter. Good good, good thing for us, oh, we can just teleport back and forth from the dungeon to the house. No sweat, no sweat. Because we took the time and set up a teleporter system. And I'm very happy that we did, because until we can get the upgraded armor... It's a lot harder in the dungeon, for sure. And I know being a mage, it's super, super easy. I've never done it as a ranged character, so I may be using the absolutely just the wrong weapon. But I know once uh, the thing that it's in the jungle chest is the piranha gun. I think it's in the jungle chest. But uh, yeah, that that thing... Oh, I could summon my little minion. Come to me, my minions! There we go. Got our little pygmy guy. He'll help us out just a little bit. And these guys. Oh. Goodness gracious. Those ectoplasms, when they pop out, they, they're fast. They are really, really fast. So, now that we know which way to go... We can sneak our way through here. And hopefully a Diabolist will not show his face. Yeah, there we go. 
We're not out of the woods yet, though. We gotta w watch for the background change. Further into the dungeon we go. Oh, there he is. Luckily enough, we hit him enough times where he killed himself, essentially. Where are you, Mr. Corruption Chest? I'm looking for you. Hello? Uh, there's nothing down there. There's the ice chest. And what we could do now that we're, uh, as we're down here, I think we're relatively safe. I don't think the Diabolus spawns this far into the dungeon. What we could do is that every other chest that we find, so that way we don't have to, to worry about where they come from or where you know coming back in here and finding them we can actually set up a little little thing here and Rexy gave me a oh, oh I thought that was an enemy Rexy gave me a little cool idea on how to uh, to mark where a chest is and basically what you do is you make oh no there's a diabolist Stop it. Stop it. Good. He died. Oh my goodness. So many skeletons. Alright, so what you do is you just set up like this. Ow. Where are you gonna go next? There you are. You just killed yourself. Ah, Diabolist off screen. Just run away. And these water candles make this area dangerous. Because it increases the spawn rate. But basically you just put a big arrow above the chest. So that way when you're looking at, at it on the map, it's a big huge arrow and it's kind of like, hello, I'm right here. Ooh, what is this? Archer potion. Nice. I'll take this chest. Do you mind if I do? Oh, Bone Lee! Cash you, Bone Lee! He'll come out of no- <clears throat> he'll come out of nowhere and get you, but now that we're in the safety of the house, you can actually see it's like, okay, looking through the dungeon, looking through the dungeon, where did we go? We died here, but you can look. I, f I kind of finished it. I kind of finished it. But as you can see, is if you're looking for a bunch of torches like this, you're like, oh, there's the locked frozen chest. So I guess while we're here, we might as well look to see if we have actually gotten spikes pot door you know you follow the entrance in and then you basically just look to see where the chests are and then you got like golden things which is sometimes golden chests but in this case they're candelabras but you look for look for light sources like torches and things of that nature there's a torch there so there's a bottle uh, pot, pot. Where's, where's I on the right track? Oh, we were almost there. There's the lock corruption chest right here. We died here. Lock corruption chest here. All right. So now that I know where it's at, I can just rush to it rather than looking. Hopefully we get there. I might start using the Stinger. Because it is AoE damage. And of course I did buy ammo for it. So we might as well take advantage of it. Uh, 
And it's cool how one bolt does can do like multiple explosions. But if we find ourselves not if, if we find ourselves dying too much, we might have to switch off of it. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. So that was that's pretty strong. Alright, need to summon our friend. Whoops. I'll have to reorganize my inventory later. Come on, Mr. Skull Guy. There we go. Alright, here we go. Back to where we died. It should show up on the minimap where we died as well. Go ahead and drink a potion. I don't know. It seems like the min uh, the mini shark or the mega shark does m way more damage. All right, so we need to hit off this direction. And here's the frozen chest again. So run, run like the wind. There we go. There's a corrupted chest. Nope. My corruption chest. Ugh. Loot all, loot all. Uh, yeah, loot all. Grab the chest. Nice. So we did get what was in the corrupted chest. So now that we've done that, we can actually go home and see what was actually what actually it was. Scourge of the Corruptor. It's a melee weapon. Oh wow. That's a really really strong weapon. A powerful javelin that unleashes tiny eaters. Awesome. Awesome. Well, since we're not melee, we have to put it away, unfortunately. But that is a really, really strong weapon for what it is. Especially since you... if Because the Corruptor Key is... I guess it's one of the easier ones to, to get. But then again, all the keys have the same drop rate. Whether it kill... You mean, you probably could get it on kill 1. You can get it on kill 1,000. I think it's like a 1 in 1,000 chance to drop it. But, um, yeah, that's, that's how that goes. We did get the chest, so we can now happily sport this chest in our base. And, uh, hopefully we can get out and get another key. Uh, eventually, once I do get, uh, I will continue farming off camera, uh, and try to get the jungle key. If I do happen to get it, I'll, I'll show you all what's in the jungle chest as we open it. So, and then we'll fight, and then that's, after that, we'll, the next step would be going to fight Duke Fisher on. So, hopefully we can get all that done within the next couple of episodes. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.